In Analyzer Studio Plus, you have the ability to use data from a finished tracking job to help track more jobs with the same actor by using the import and export tracking model options. These can help speed up tracking significantly, especially if there are a large number of shots with the same actor, providing an excellent starting point for the job. Export tracking model gathers both the statistical models that were used in the shot as well as the individual training frames and saves them for use in other shots. The depth of the model and the number of training frames can be added to with each subsequent shot if desired, making it a more complete model. We have this finished job in front of us, which we're going to use to demonstrate. Now as it's finished, I've trained and tracked every group. We're using the eyes, mouth, and brows. To use this feature, to use export tracking model, you need to have trained in each group that you wish to export from, so that's important. So to begin, we're going to go up to the file menu and select export tracking model. Now we need to choose a folder to export the files to. It's recommended that you have a specific folder for each actor. You should receive a confirmation message like this saying that the export was successful. Now we're going to quickly save this one and open up another job that I had previously prepared. So you can see that there is no tracking data in this job at all. The landmarks are in the default position. So now instead of starting this job from scratch, we want to import the model. So we go to File, Import Tracking Model, and navigate to our folder that we created earlier and exported our data to. Once that's selected, you hit OK, and you'll get this message that will confirm which groups have been imported. So now we're going to track our shot pretty much as normal. First, we're going to start with the eyes, and we're going to create one training frame. It doesn't actually matter where, because we already have a model. What we really need to do, what this training frame does, is to tell the software kind of just generally where the face is. It's an initialization rather than a specific training frame. So instead of training, we're just going to hit track. You can see the button is already active because we've imported a model instead of creating a new one. That's really the strength of this feature. You don't have to train every single time. We only have one training frame, but we already have data from the other shot too. We might as well use it. And you can see that it's written results to the rest of the shot. He's not doing a ton with his eyes in this one. But the results are still pretty good for the most part. They don't quite get this squint here. So we do exactly what we do in the normal workflow and add a training frame to fix it. So we'll just adjust these landmarks however we feel appropriate. And when we're satisfied, we hit train model all from the track menu. So now it's training the training frames you've created in this shot in addition to the ones that you imported. So we have a whole new model. We're just building on it, and you do that over and over again, and you get a really nice, complete model of the face. So we hit track again when it's done, and when we scrub through, we can see that that one problem section is fixed, and the eyes are done. It's only 69 or 70 frames in this shot, but you can really tell how much of a difference it's made. Once you've gone through and done that for each of your face groups, just like a normal job, everything is tracked and you're happy, we can export our models again. So we go back up to Export Tracking Model, select the same folder for that actor, and it'll ask you if you want to overwrite. You want to say yes. Once you've done so, you get the confirmation again, and now our models include the training frames from the first shot, as well as the second. And you have a nice, robust model. The more you add to it, the more features of the face the model will understand and be able to do without any further effort on your part. Using these features can be a remarkable time-saving tool, especially over the course of a large project where you have many, many shots of the same actor.